Wait, no, my head is cut off. Oh, you want it in here? Yes, I'd like my head in the shot. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet. I don't have any more. And That's it. Give her some water. What's going on? We are not in the closet. We're not in the closet. So everybody, today's a special special show. We are here at Nana and Papa's house and we are doing a special pre-recorded show. And we're just testing out the waters to see what's happening. But we know you guys can't live without your Tuesdays with Tricky because Tricky's just... So amazing. I am. I am absolutely amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Nana is like walking by trying to put Stevie, Stevie down asleep. for her nap. And Stevie's like... <laughs> Stevie wants to be out here. She's not napping. She's not mm. napping. Oh God. Oh, this is stressful. So somebody is with Stevie. So if you do hear her, you know, moaning and crying in the background, it's because Stevie wants to be out here, but it is Stevie's nap time. It's nap time. It's nap time. Nap time. We need a nap. We need a nap. I need a nap. Speaking of things that we need. Hello. <laughs> Thank you to Lady Beautology for providing us once again with Stress Relief 101. Yes, I agree. And this is a great stress relief. So I These got are... star fruit. You did? Rosemary cucumber. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've never tasted that one before. That's not true. We had this on last show. You said star fruit? You call it something else. Star, star fruit. Oh. Jumbling. And I'm back with the spicy mango pineapple with whiskey. Ooh, that is lovely. That is lovely. All right, so I have a couple of things I want to talk about today on the show. Make sure you put down the napkin and don't oh, rest it down on, Nana, on Nana's wooden coffee table. Jeez. Okay. It's Sunday. Well, it's Tuesday. What do you eat on a Sunday? You know, sometimes I see people talk about like two meats or they'll eat like a fancier meal or the time of the meal is different or they'll order food out. Like... What do you feel like a Sunday? Who should be cooking? What happens? I mean, traditionally in our family, we've always had Sunday as a family day. Like, from my grown up, Sunday has been a family day where right. we go to hang out with our family. Mm -hmm. So, and we, it's always been um, a very big to do. And when grandma and grandpa were alive, we used to have fancy Sunday dinners. Well, they were the matriarchs, and now mommy and daddy are the matriarchs. Right. So we would go to the matriarch's house for right. Sunday dinner. When grandma and grandpa, and it was very fancy, like Beverly, the helper, used to come around with the specially made dishes with the correct condiment, with the correct... Yes. And we had to sit properly. Mm -hmm. It was a very special time for us... Um, Table manners were super, super, super important, and the meals were always amazing. Yes, like, Beverly was an excellent cook. Grandma, you know, would get all of the different cookbooks, and she and Beverly would be in the kitchen, and they'd be cooking, and you know, she'd always be like, "Okay, Bev, we we'll have to serve. I think you serve from the left, or something like that." Yeah. And then the side dish and one bag of things. And Grandma was always trying to teach Trace, and then, of course, we were just like, "We're hungry." Mm -hmm. Oh, we're young. We're young. So now it's been passed down to mommy and daddy. And it's become a little less, um, way less formal. Yes. It's way less formal. Sometimes we're like serving out the pot. You know, the formal dining room that we used to eat out of with grandma and grandpa. I mean, we do eat in there sometimes, but not very often. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I think I would like to do like a two meat Sunday, like to have options. You know, sometimes mommy cooks and it's good. It's better than when daddy cooks. But like it's... I just wanted like a two meat option, like a... Jordy's been so on this two meat option thing, like... Nobody's taking me on though. Why? Why do you need two meats? Like, I just feel like there's so much. Chicken is now $330 a pound. You go with your two meat option. Chicken and mutton. Okay, so if you're doing two meats, you only need half a pound per person then. You only need half the serving per person, so you can, you know... Why do you need two meats? Because it's Sunday. It's just going to rummage up your belly. I'm sorry, because the amount of food that we eat on a Sunday doesn't rummage up our belly anyway. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of food here to go through today. We have food where... Uh, I'm not ready yet. You're not ready yet? No, I'm not ready yet. I'm dying to try some of these things. I'm not ready yet, Trey. Really? No, I'm not ready. I'm ready. You can't just come somewhere and you're just ready, so? What do you mean? You go to the party and the first thing you do is get a drink when you're ready. You're not ready. That is a party. You can't come to people's house and all of a sudden you're just ready to yam. People's house? This is my house. It's true, it's my house too. I'm ready to jam. Okay, what are you going to jam? I mean, you really, you just gone in, dog. You gone in. Yeah. Lord, you had. I'm ready to try this. It's called Bite Me mm -hmm. Pickled Red Herring. It's, it's 
says mild. I Sorry. bet it's not mild. It's going to burn my bottom the same way. Okay, so this is our homemade recipe. Delicious to the very last bite. Bite me. Pickled red herring. Options can be eaten. It can be had best alone or you can serve it on top of breadfruit chips. You can serve it with aki. You can serve Excuse me, when I edit, I can put a picture at the side. Okay, IT department, turn up nowadays. Yes, our IT department. I do need a little pen to write. Oh God, if I call Levi, I overheard what he's meant to No, He's already been like, I'm prepared to go on, cam on camera. Oh, he's, he's, he's IT selling food. He's selling food. Um, you can serve with Kalaloo, you can serve with Rasta Georgia. We won't serve it at all. It's um, that 19 one needs to come by order. Um, serve with cheese and crackers, red or white wine. Um, it can serve as a main dish or an appetizer. To Jody and Tracy, thank you for always supporting authentic Jamaican brands. Enjoy every nice last bite. Love your bite me family. Let me smell, let me smell. Wow. Oh, yo, I can't wait. My breath went turned right up, man. Turn up. Okay, so then I'm just dishing a little bit out on this authentic Jamaican cracker. Well, there's no, there's actually like, there wasn't a lot of option here at Nana's house. You either have the tough water crackers or you have like wheat crackers. Them don't have a little in between around here. I'm going to do a little mm -hmm. in between it. Oh, mm -hmm. it's good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check it out. I hope I don't want a big bite of pepper on here. Don't you? Mm -hmm. This is a big piece of pepper, this red piece thing right here. Then lie about mild. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to have a more for my cacao. No man, I could finish this whole jar right now. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. I could finish this whole jar right now. That's very nice. But how is it mad? There was not right thing I picked up pepper. Maybe it was like a bell pepper or a tomato. No, no, I take no chance. No chance I take it, not at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Can taste the herring. Whoa. Let's see the tag or the tag. So you can follow them on their Instagram, biteme.ja. We have to refrigerate this after opening. Mm -hmm. I just don't find that there's going to be any left if you mm -hmm. continue. Going the way you do. No, that's really good though. Mm -hmm. That would be a nice gift like when you're traveling or you know to take as a little gift and also yeah. to serve on your charcuterie. Char 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 what you call it? Isn't it charcuterie? What did Tiffany call it? Her coochie coo coo board? <laughs> So I'm going to just eat off a tip of this coochie board. Yeah, serve some like a pickle hair, a red, red herring on our coochie board. Okay, that was really nice. Okay, but we still have the soy. Okay, so Sunday dinner. Yeah. If you come to my house, you'll get two meats. Well, you never have Sunday dinner at your house. That's why we can't get two meats there. <laughs> so, um, are you going to cook? Can no, you never no, cook? I'm not cook no, no, no. That, this is why we're living in like, you know, if you go to Jody's house on Sunday, there'll be two meats and a dessert. Jody won't even be there, and Jody's definitely not cooking. Alright. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Wow, well, move about. Wow, okay. Head on over to their Instagram page, and you can find out where you can order or pick up your bottle of Bite Me pickled red herring. Um, mm. Ingredients. Which one we read out the ingredients for? I'm busy. Uh huh. Red herring. Vinegar, onion, carrot, scotch bonnet, pepper. Oh, scotch bonnet, pepper. Oh, so this a, is good diet food. You have a braid, braid in here yet? And just one braid is like, bur like burning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no man, I want to burn it. Anyway. So, so that's actually low calorie, good for diets. Yeah, because of the vinegar and there's mm -hmm. no real sugar in there. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're snacking while you're dieting, which we're going to start a diet soon. So that's probably why Tracy is looking at her diet. Snack options. Yeah, because I need to start dieting. Okay, all right. Carnival is coming. Mm -hmm. All right. So this, there's this title like people talk about, and it really, really annoys me. Like when you have mugs, and it says "best mom ever" or "best dad ever" or "best uncle, best aunt ever." I just don't like the "best ever" title. It mm -hmm. really annoys me. Why? I don't know. It's like best I mom think ever. I'm taking it on so seriously. Though. No, it really bugs me. Like when people are like, "Oh, best dad ever." Do, have you had every dad? Like that's the best dad for you. But when you say, oh, best dad ever, like I find it annoying, especially the best mom ever title. Like, you know, I just, I don't like the comparison bit. And they have all these moms, best mom ever, best mom ever, best mom ever. And it's just like, how do you know? I mean, I just wouldn't want my mug to say such a good mom. 
<laughs> or a good mom. A mom I want to say best mom ever. ever. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather my mom, my mom just have like a heart on it or something. Really? Like, yeah. Like maybe pictures of something or whatever. Like I don't want it to say anything. I mean, when people tell me, "Oh, you're such a good mom," I love that. Yeah, I think that's yeah, great. Yeah. But like, I want my mug. To, it's my mug. I, I want it to say more than that. I mean, you, you don't want it to say mediocre mom. No, <laughs> definitely not. Never not mediocre mom. I don't know. I find the title just annoys me a little bit. It's so it's so competitive and it's so like, best teacher ever. But then there's all of these other teachers in the school that you're gonna make feel bad. I just don't think anybody's taking it on so hard. I feel like you're taking it on like really ten ton of bricks. Yeah, nobody takes it on. Everybody just says like thanks. And then when you read that in the morning, you're like, mm, great, good to go for a good day. No, no, no. I don't say good to go for a great day. I'm like, really, really, this is what you're thinking? How many other people did you buy this mug for too? Boy, I don't know. I don't like that title. I don't like that title. No. And clearly it bothered me because it was the second point I wanted to talk about. I need something to suit up more now. What? I don't understand. It's like right the la. Oh. Oh. Strawberry cheesecake gummy bears for Tracy. And Jody got champagne flavored <laughs> gummy bears. Of course I got champagne flavored gummy bears. It's a sweet up more kind of more. So guys, as you know, one of our sponsors, Candy Craze. They are located in. These are jelly belly jelly beans. They don't have candy from all over. So, jelly belly jelly beans are like, I feel like the brand name of jelly beans. They definitely are. They're, no, you don't say that. You say gourmet jelly beans. They're not gourmet. They are gourmet jelly beans. But they're made with a specific flavor in mind. And they're more like high end. What does gourmet even mean? High end deliciousness. Mmm. They so when you say like champagne, they do taste like champagne. So like, when you say gourmet, you know you're going to be getting a certain standard. I prefer mine. Mm, 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 you prefer mm, mm. it? Wait, mm -hmm. right, let me finish off this taste and then I'll move on to it. So for those of you who didn't know, Candy Craze has two locations: um, Fontana Waterloo, right upstairs. Inside, you like Fontana. some jelly beans, Can I say hi? Yeah, sure. Oh, hi. 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 You coming in or what? Um, I. You want to taste the pickled herring? It's very peppery. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get these? Mm -hmm. And the other location is in the Progressive Mall in Barbican. And to me, still, their ice cream. Dude, their ice cream. It's that mystery, I can't get over it. When someone went to Candy Craze last night and she was going for ice cream, and I was like, I was this close to be like, can you bring me back some? No. When Melanie says she's going to send over a milkshake, I tell you, I was not excited. I was not excited for the milkshake at all. And then when, and then when I tasted it, I'm like, I regret ever tasting this. You know, when something is so, so delicious, delicious yeah, you're that like, you just, I wish I never had this so that I'll never know how good it tastes. Because no, my diet, diet is, mm -hmm. you're going to mess up your diet because you're going to be craving a candy craze milkshake. And malt was just like, was not so everywhere that sell ice cream can make milkshake. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So. The malt. I find if you put malt in the milkshake, that's what gets me. What is malt? Milkshake goodness. But where does it sell? What does it say? How can I get a pack of malt? Where was this malt? Malt. Horlicks? Horlicks is malt. But it tastes mm. good. Tastes very I good. love malt. Mm -hmm. You remember growing up, they said if you eat too much Horlicks out in the middle of your hand, you'll get that red dot in your eye? No. No? Okay, okay. Cool. cool. You never used to put the Horlicks and the Milo in your hand and you lick it out. No. You don't are you never had somebody in the school and they used to have like a little red dot in their eye? No. Where you grew up? Clearly um, in somewhere you didn't Yeah, yeah, but worry about the red dots in their eye. I know. And who are like ten hundred like mm. Mm hmm That's really good. Mm hmm You know what would be good? What? Mix it with this. You ever see that thing on the, in the internet where they put all that candy in something and they pour the liquor over it? I saw people do that in a bathtub. I saw people do that in a to toilet bowl. It's disgusting. First of all, America is so wasteful. Yeah. They are so wasteful. There's yeah. all of these trends now where they're like, try, the water is running, people showing you their hygiene videos and they leave the water on. And it's like, guys, come on. Mm -hmm. That's one thing man can't make, you know, water mm -hmm. and all you do is waste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so yeah, I don't agree with the waste. I don't, even though it's candy, it's sugar, it's oh, you're still wasting it by doing these mm -hmm. bad top full of things. Yeah. And what hurts me is when you get the expensive liquor, you throw on top of it. Who is really drinking and eating it out of the toilet bowl and the bath? You're not drinking and eating all of it. It's no, waste. No, no, it is waste. But Americans are wasteful. Like, look at all those game shows that they have with the food that they throw on each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very, they're just a very wasteful society. But that, but remember when we used to travel and we would say, like, what is this? And Daddy used to be like, America is a land of waste. Mm -hmm. There's a lady on TikTok and she does a lot of dumpster diving, and she finds like amazing pieces, like brand new um, returns, unopened, just about to expire, and she is able to live off of dumpster diving. She's like brand brand new things from toothpaste. She's like, the box is open. The box is open. This is probably somebody that returned a bag of things and they just threw it in here. Makeup, pillows, bed spreads, everything. But then the other day, didn't you see that thing where like all those Amazon packages that had like not made it, they were just thrown in that place. So people were going and picking up random Amazon packages. It was a train. Mm -hmm. And when the train goes through a certain part of LA, um it slows down and then hoodlums robbers i don't know what you call them um pirates i think it's pirates you know they jump on a train throw out packages hobos. and then what hobos no hobos the hobos is a, a thing for a hobos. piratic hobos no just because they're homeless doesn't mean that they're no oh, anyway they're pirates and they would um throw things out the train and then um scrummage for things and the news reporter was even less like this is a this is a unopened package by my foot because one throws out of the train and others pick up and try and go through it's crazy mm -hmm. so that's why um some people were saying that you know they're missing packages they're losing packages the police the, the, the laws don't protect um the package companies because basically what they would do is they would arrest the pirates put them in jail but there's no real fine for them yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no real time for them so they let them out and then they go back to doing the same thing with the packages so pretty much if you get in packages that have to go through LA. LA don't don't bother make a mail go through LA none at all speaking of mail yeah? customs duty in Jamaica mm -hmm. Mark Golden had mentioned that you know $50 is is too little bit yeah, and I 100% agree with it because it's, true. it's not just $50 for your item, you know. That $50 for your item also has to include the shipping. So it's not just, oh, I bought an item for $49.99, but I have shipping for $5. No, you're not going to be charged because the total of your package is over $50, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. That's crazy though, that's just five grand. Mm -hmm. Nothing is five grand anymore. Well, also too, you know, persons who own businesses, also just regular shoppers, want to use the internet to buy products and services but then you have businesses who use these package companies or use customs as a way to be able to put things in their stores or to be you know what i mean and yeah, i think yeah. fifty dollars is absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous i agree fifty dollars is too little bit yeah it's too little bit a lot of the times like i've been trying to buy parts like even with renovating the apartment two of the fans are a lot older what did mark golden say he was saying to raise it to 150 dollars to 150 150 and i was like you know what you know something like Mark? I agree with the raising of 150. I think he could have gone a little bit higher, but like let's not Stop be laughing like, at me. Oh my girl, I just like your whole entire head skin moves. Like your eyes and everything. Like <laughs> See the last the ones around the back tight now man. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you could lower it at lower it even more. I think three hundred dollars is like boom, yeah. shop, we're good. But I'm not going to be picky right now because Tim even taking note of that and yeah, raising it right, to right. I'm really appreciative of that. When when is elections? Because we're gonna see a lot of these like amazing ideas popping up because elections will be coming. I think they're coming soon. Yeah? I think they're coming soon, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright. Speaking of our years. Yeah, I think they're next year. You know. No way. Mummy elections is next year? I think it's twenty four. Twenty four, two years. Right? I know. Yes, it's 24. So hold on. Mm -hmm. I mean, stop shouting. Stevie's sleeping. But well, I want to make sure everybody hears without the microphone. Mm -hmm. See? Anyway, so speak I meant to mommy. Oh. So speaking of the PMP party and JLP party, would you ever doodle at a party? No. Definitely not. No? No. Like it would just hide up in there, like what would you do, ask to go home or what would happen? Yeah, it would have to, if either the dude would have to hide up in there or we would have to go home, like I can't Who is we? 
I'm not taking you home to doodle and then go back. You doodle by yourself, dog. What? I must leave the party. I'm vibing so that I can take you home to doodle. No, every bottle for himself. Sorry. So you would do that at her party? Of course. I don't think I'd be able to let my battery would just shame. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. You never put ass to the grass yet? Never no. use a leaf to the... No. Oh, okay. I definitely would not be going home. Tell you that. What the hell? When you have to go, you have to go. You do remember I used to take a lot of fat burners? So you would do that at the parties? I mean, don't make it seem like every party I went to, I was just like, Hey, excuse me, gotta go shit. But yeah, I would, you know, do a little... If I needed to. I want to eat those cookies right now, too. No, man, you're just too eager upon the cookie business, man. We're talking about Duda and you want to eat My mind can't come off of all of the food. So I'm just, not I just don't feel food. like I'm participating I, how, how properly. How does one do this? Can I just open them? What was the about my hair? Like, I, I don't know, but you keep on, like, it's, it's really stressing me, okay? You keep on moving all of them. Right, maybe the, the ponytail is off. Oh, right. You got a ponytail. Yeah. You got a ponytail. You got a p -p 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 ponytail. <laughs> Mommy, you want to taste this herring dip thing? It's peppery. It's not that peppery. I had it. But there was I a... I just had a peach. You just had a peach? Yeah. Oh, well, you can have some champagne and some Ooh. strawberry cheesecake. Oh, what are those jellies? Yeah. Like jelly babies? Jelly beans. All right. I would like to taste that white rum drink. Oh, come on. That is nice. It's coming over for a taste. Watch it. Oh, okay. Watch it. Smile. Watch it. Smile. Hi, guys. I got a pop, 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 you do. <laughs> mm. I like gin too. And this one, mom, that gin we had in, in the country the time with the lavender. Oh my gosh. The lavender that syrup. That was gin? The tricky yes. The, the, the oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. That was, that was this good. one is a spicy mango pineapple, and this one is with whiskey. Oh, I like this too. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> Spicy mango pan. Oh. So good. just for you guys to know also and congratulations to Lady B Mixology. She's now done a little expansion. So if you stop by the S um, grocery at the at the Spanish Port Hotel, you know they have a little grocery there. They now have in stock Lady B Mixology drink pouches. What? Go I've Lady never B. been the S market, what is it? I called? didn't know. So I am um, I haven't been there yet, but you know, now hearing that some of my favorite brands are there, I would definitely want to go and check it out. Um, you know, we passed it and we're like S Food Supermarket on Worthington Avenue. So you guys can check that out. I didn't know that it was open to the public. I passed it a couple of times. Yeah. I didn't know it was open to the public. You see it? So I, I reached out, to, or they reached out to me because I'm an influencer. And um, okay. I was like, let's let's film in there. Can I eat some of the food? Because you know, I'm going there. Yeah, I'm I know, I, I got really Jeez, excited um, for that. So I do want to go and see, like, what so are some of the things they have? Is it like a specialty supermarket? Is it a gourmet supermarket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but all I know, it's a lady baby it's all just supermarket. And that means it is for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can, like, sip and shop. Oh. You know, as kids, when mommy used to be like, don't let them know you're opening, so it would be like this. I know. Like, I know. how come we're so thirsty in the supermarket? Like, okay, I have, to, I have, to, I have to eat these cookies now. I can't resist anymore. So, Strictly Cookies has sent Trace us is over. best friend. <laughs> I know. I love her so much. Strictly Cookies has sent over some bun and some bun flavored cookies. This no. is a cookie of the month for what? <laughs> oh. Everybody's looking at me. You say? <laughs> yeah. Bun flavored cookies. This is a cookie of the month. Go bun ahead. flavored cookies. Well, it's half, half and half. It's half and half. And I also cut up some cheese here. Oh, this is so nice and moist. Oh, oh wow. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No, oh, it's lovely. This is a perfect piece of bun. Mommy, come on, taste this bun. What was that? That was not a fire, Tracy. That was probably from the other room. I know I bent over. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fix me up this, this spicy thing first. Oh, you no, wait, I went down to the side Mommy, you're gone. To the, come and sit right here. You're gone to the next part. You have to be in order. Oh, Watch her try to cross over the thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the cookie of the month for Simply Cookies. I crossed it. Oh, was that salt? Nobody can cross it. I crossed it. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is a cookie. A mm -hmm. bun flavored cookie. No cookie way. of the month. Uh -huh. 
from Simply Cookies JA. Mm -hmm. What do you She's just put bun in the cookie mixture. This and then, yeah, because yeah, it's cool. It's, it tastes like bun. It oh, you just like bun. You did it with a piece of cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. But this is double bad, you know, because mm -hmm. it's a cookie mm -hmm. and a bun at mm -hmm. the same time. No, it's good because it, it's, it's so, portioned yeah. out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's if you can eat one. I, I don't one. think you can eat one. <laughs> this is good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How is that? Uh, that's a perfect bite. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I never thought of like mm -hmm. cheese. And there's even cherries. Here. I haven't seen a cherry in bun for years. Oh my gosh, I love cherries in bun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was another thing I wanted to talk about. Like we get comfortable. What is Easter bun and what are your favorite brands of Easter bun? Mm. So what is Easter bun? How did it come around? Because you know in certain Caribbean countries they have hot cross buns, they have like a particular good thing to them. Mm -hmm. Well this is before we go into our favorite Easter bun. Strictly Cookies has also sent over their Easter bun cookie no, jar. Come on, no Tracy. Way. So it is the Easter bun cookie with All the right. cherry ganache right, with some cinnamon goodness. With mm. brown crackers. I bet you there's no cheese in there. She, yeah, she should have done some cheese. <laughs> she should have done it. Okay. Oh, look, it's, it's a cookie right on top. Oh, of. what a perfect fit. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Talk about marketing. So you can't say you didn't get any cookie. Exactly. You, you can't complain that you can't, didn't yeah, get any cookie because yeah, it's yeah. right on top. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I love gooey sweet things. I, I love. Ooh, thank you. Love gooey sweet things. So it's a white thing. Oh my god, I can't even read it right now. Wait, my turn. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's all jumping off. Hold on. <laughs> you know, every time she comes to deliver the stuff, I get so mad at her because <laughs> I'm like, why would you make such delicious stuff? And then I taste it, and then like, just. Takes me to a different that is intricate. It takes me to a different level of life. Yeah, I can't even of, explain. Of life. Yeah, wow. no, like, <laughs> I can't even explain it to you. Like it's just so like you know when you, you, you your tongue has different places to taste things. Yes. So yeah. it, you, oh, the, oh, it explodes in your mouth. Oh, your double. Oh, sorry, I got another one. Oh, that's okay. Double dip. Double dip. Good. Then I'll say it's mine. Mm. That is really really good. Mm. What, what is it? Is it cream? It's. You know what? Crumble is my favorite thing. So seeing all the little bits and stuff. And the crumble is at the bottom. I, yeah, yeah she's, she's. You really gotta dig deep. I'm just greedy because you gotta dig down there to get the stuff. Is, is she is she blind? <laughs> I know you would think <laughs> so, right? <laughs> because like, I feel like she's missing one of her senses because her taste, sense of taste uh -huh. is just so, so heightened. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So have you, you, you speak to her, she can hear you? Yes. Mm. And she looks at me in my eyes. She drives. So no, she's not. <laughs> but that's a good question. Because mm. usually people who cook so and have like this fragrance, you know, mm. and cook so well, mm. they're she's down a I mean, it's just. It's oh just, gosh. I, I know. to put the picture thing on top of this. So guess what, guys? Sorry, you can't take this home. It's so. It stays here. I just, yeah. yeah it's yeah. ridiculous. It's really good. good. It's really good. So that, guys, is strictly cookies. J strictly. And I'll put it on the screen because the IT department has stepped up in life. <laughs> Did you see the last YouTube um, video, Mommy, from last week's Tuesdays with Tricky? Oh. So we interviewed Corveo. She's the second oh, yes. cast member. Yeah. And I dropped in a picture of Corveo. I and it that. really did make a difference. You know, we've been adding the tags of the, the companies that we're talking about. So you'll also see those tags pop up on the screen. Mm -hmm. But then we did show pictures, or I showed pictures of Corvea. And I think it really did make a difference because sometimes when we're doing our show um, on IG, you can't see we, the person. We can't see the person. Yeah. So when it translates to YouTube, it's mm -hmm. kind of like boring. Yeah, but who are you talking can I, to? Can I just say mm -hmm. that, it, that I do see what you're now doing? But it flashes a little bit too quickly. Okay, so, so maybe just, to just leave it give up me, a give little me some bit. Time. Yeah, yeah, give yeah, me some yeah, time yeah, because yeah. I was actually, after I finished editing the show last week and I figured out how to get the photos in, I said, let me see if I can get videos to go in. Mm. And what ended up happening was that the, 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 what do you call it? The volume cut for both videos. Okay. So I do see where in Final Cut Pro it is a problem that people have and there is a way to troubleshoot it. And I said, you know what? 
the baby never walked in one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I did with Corvia, I made sure to put in her picture three times during the interview because I did see where it is. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. what I'll do today is I'll maybe see how can I extend the, the length of the picture being up on the screen. Right. Boy, you this IT talk is so boring. This is just boring me, man. Yeah, but it's a journey. And you learn little things along yeah, the way know, that really not, help yeah, you. IT girl, oh my gosh, I remember I had this job when I was in Spain. And <laughs> it was like, it was practically an IT job and I had to work on a computer all day long. And it was the most boring job I've yeah, ever I had. get dazzled. In, yeah, I've ever had in my life. And so I would finish, I'd, I would work, 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 and I'd finish all of my work by like in two or three hours. Because yeah. Spanish people are actually very, they take long to do their, to do their job, yeah. right? So I would finish it. So I'd be finished, and I'd be like, at work, and I'd be like, I'm bored, I'm bored, <laughs> and I quit after one month because I was like, I can't so, do this. It's so boring. boring. Mm. Yeah. I remember I came over there to visit, and I brought my Easter bun. Yes. I brought. Oh, that's right. I remember mm -hmm. that. I, I love love the the having bun. Yes, and I took yeah. a picture looking down at the yes. alleyway of Spain, yes, and there was a bun that. and on the, the cheese. Uh, yes, on the on the ring. Yes. I, I love bun and cheese. Very, yeah. I love bun and cheese. That was a nice picture. Yeah. My oh, bag was so full of bun heading over to, to um, Barcelona. HTP should have a competition like that. Where is your bun? Ah, yeah, but like, yeah, just but you were yeah. asking who's, who's, what bun is your favorite yeah, I bun. just said it. Um, HTB is your favorite. Yeah, HTB is one of my favorites and honey bun too. Yeah, honey bun is one of my favorites. They have a lot of um, fruits in their bun, yeah. which is why I like I like the fruit. I like the pieces. I like the bits. And I found that honey bun has a lot of bits. Yeah. They do have a lot of bits. And the, but then yeah, that's probably why you don't like it. Exactly. Oh, I don't because like the sometimes bits. I like to alternate. I like the cherries. But sometimes I, I make the, the green. The green and the like white. Yeah, like the green? I know, I don't. Sometimes yeah. I like to alternate. So I'll maybe have a slice of HTB with a slice of honey bun. Ah. So Because I, I don't mind medium pressure in the amount of, you know. <laughs> I can't even high pressure fruit. I like medium pressure yeah. fruits, you yeah, know. Yeah. But those, the flavor of both of those bars are nice and you know what they're consistent you yes, know yes every yes, yes, single yes, yes, year yes, yes. when it comes yes. out and you see that box yes, you it's know. like you know what yeah. you're getting yeah, yeah. so but I you think know there was another nice one but it's sometimes the those little one. no the little one on the way to country um lord mommy yes but you but have to drive over the spur tree here. yes and these are individual Jeez, um, bakeries too. If you are so really Jamaican, you know. The, yeah, unless you're in the community, you yeah, 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 know because no, they don't yeah, get Yeah, that um, one was excellent. Yeah. And now that we drive the highway, we don't even yeah, drive, we don't that, even way drive that way. That was I think nice maybe song. for the Easter, a good idea would be, excuse me, a bun competition with the brands that we already see and are familiar with on the supermarket shelves. And maybe we could do like, you know, Miss Birdie, well, saw, a yummy. I was just about to say, I saw Miss Birdie's mm -hmm. bun this year. Right. I've never had that bun. Yeah, I can't I remember if I have. I can't remember either. I, I, I don't even know if it was up last year. No, I think I think they had oh yeah. because so she's had quite a few new products on yeah. the market. Miss yeah. Bernie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 birdie yeah, just yeah, a tweet yeah. and a long yeah, man. man. So yeah, maybe man. we'll do a, a, a bird a bird tasting competition. A bun well you know what though? We should have also a toasted I toast my bun. Not all the time. I toast no, my bun with fresh, butter. I can't toast it. Mm -hmm. I, I just well, you know. it in fresh bun. You feel it and it's juicy. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes when it's open for a while, yeah. not that that really happens in our house. I know. <laughs> but no, but, stay in no, house. no, no. But it, it, yeah, then you toast it, and yeah. that's when your butter goes into all the crevices. Remy and I had bun with um with butter. Cup of tea butter. in the afternoon and, and toasted bun with butter. Bun. I've oh, actually started okay. leaving butter out on my kitchen counter on a butter dish because I don't like when I'm buttering my toast. And it doesn't melt. And it doesn't melt. I exactly. Okay. So I keep it yeah. up. And Stevie likes her toast with butter. Like if I put butter on her toast, she'll yeah. eat the whole yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did bun come about? Bun, like the loaf of bun. Who decided? I, don't know. I think it was... Well, we had hot cross buns in England, which were right. little buns that were on with that right that had the X on the top, and mm -hmm. it was a raisin bun. Right. But it wasn't. It. It was. Not like a scone either. Yeah. But it definitely wasn't a bun consistency with mm -hmm. all that fruit. Yeah. But then I think Jamaicans like a fruit cake mm -hmm, right. because our wedding cake is fruit cake, which yeah. a lot of other countries in the world, you know, you have. Um, chocolate wedding cake it looks great yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's actually fruit cake or mm. you know yeah sorry not fruit like cake, i had a little like flavor cake. that was kind of unheard of exactly exactly <laughs> so i think jamaica's wedding do. cake was a lemon meringue pie it was baked by my auntie june yes 
In love. Lots of love. Lots of love. With love. But I think Jamaicans, mm. back to the to the thing, Jamaicans like that soaked in fruit yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah. And so it's not surprising to me that they would. And it used to be made with stout, you know. Did you fart though? No, my finger just went like this on the thing, Tracy. I have not farted since I've sat here. I'm gonna go. Excuse me, guys. I'm not gonna smell anything on top. I did not. But you didn't try the herring. But I can't have something savory after something so sweet. sweet. But anyway, go ahead. Is this um, like Solomon Gundy? Because yes. I smell it. Yes. So this well, is called excellent Solomon Gundy. The, I do make a nice one. So this is pickled red, red herring by Bite Me. Oh. Um, delicious to every to the last bite, to the very last bite. Bite Me. Um, and That's a cute name. And yes, it's very cute. Okay. So you can. I want you to get a good. You need more than that. Then on a tough crackers, you need more. That's oh, I like this. It's an onion. Mommy likes onion. Okay, all right, cool, cool. But cool. don't put too much because it's gonna get all slop. I need to eat that. I can't eat that cracker. My teeth what? can't eat that cracker tray. Mm. Oh, oh transfer it to. I, I want you to know Sorry, though guys. that there's either the tough water cracker or the <laughs> um stale or the stale wheat crackers because oh, no. I, I guess you're eating so much bun that can't work through the crackers. <laughs> I know. But I like this. Eat alone or pairs best with breadfruit. Yes, Aki, that, mm -hmm. Callaloo, crackers. Cheese this would be crackers. nice with some roasted. Oh, breadfruit. just red and white wine. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. everything is better with yeah. red or white wine. Yeah. And I right, think take a taste. some breadfruit would be nice. nice. Yes. Mmm. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. You got a nice piece of onion there. Oh, the whole of it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You have to wash it down? No. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. The cracker is very distracting. Because it's stale. Because it's stale. But the herring is very nice and mm -hmm. herringy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what? Sometimes when you wash out herring too much and then you put the salt back in. Yes, it tastes, it tastes different. different. Yeah, this is just the right amount yes, of Yes, I was going to say yeah. that too, that they, they wash the herring good, but not, not too, too much. Yeah, yeah, because I hate it when you can taste that yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. lost that Yeah, like it boil up too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very nice. And I like the bits that are big, like the, I like a I like big bits too. Yeah, yeah, I don't like you it You want the bits all day today, you eating bun bits, not eating herring bits? <laughs> <laughs> I like bits too. Mm -hmm. oh. This is nice. This and is that's nice. But you know what? The herring bits aren't too big. No, so they, the vegetables very, are nice. Chewable too, it's and it's very chewable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. good for um. I say, yeah, <laughs> I was say for old people. Yeah. No, but you know you have to be consistent. Good for diets. Good for old people. <laughs> yeah, because um, you don't want to be chewing too much. Yeah, you know. So this is a nice consistency. Very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So, mom, I know. So you are a driver on the road. Have you? Oh, I know the driving fatalities have gotten mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have skyrocketed like it's ridiculous. What is it? Oh yeah, one hundred and fourteen road fatalities since the start of the year. What? Are, so Are you serious? It's either one hundred and it's a it's a big high number. And it's only March. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me though because people. I don't know what's happened since the pandemic. I don't know what's your question. So uh, just basically like to talk about driving fatalities, like how can it be avoided? Like just to tell everybody to slow down. You're going to get there. You're done late already. Slow down. Yeah. It's not even that you're late. Yeah. You can start off on time, but I think the, just the, not even the bad driving, just the aggressive driving mm -hmm. from some people who are so intent. I live, what, five minutes away from school? Yeah. yeah. Literally five minutes. But if I don't leave at 20 to 7, I don't mm -hmm. get to school by 7 o'clock. Because so of nice. the, yeah. once there's an intersection, people yeah, 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 are yeah, they blocking it. it. Yeah. Whether you, I'm turning right and I'm not going to be blocking you because I'm turning against the traffic, yeah. Yeah. it's blocked. Yeah. Then you're in, you're in five, pe five or six cars, then you get the people going around you. It's like, what yeah, is yeah, The indiscipline is crazy. The indiscipline. Which I don't understand because like, you know, if we know that the indiscipline on the roads are bad, like why aren't more traffic police out? Throughout the day, like or, or if, come around this way, baby. Careful, my little light. Or if if you are in well, a taxi, I don't. I, I don't wish the police were down at Grosvenor Terrace in the morning to just point to the open lot to say drive it. They would make thousands of dollars every single day just from people 
Go in. You want some? What do you want, darling? Okay. Go ahead. Right, let's go get what you want and come back. Um, just offer tickets. Yeah. But, but I think it's people just being selfish. Yeah. And I think sometimes people are turning and they don't indicate their intention. Yeah. Because it happened the other day. I'm behind a guy. And he was turning right, Careful didn't right. say he was turning right, so I'm going to overtake him because yeah. he's, and I'm, I thought to myself, why didn't you just say you were taking, turning, turning right, right yeah. instead yeah. of slowing down to the point where I'm thinking to myself, what is this guy doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, people, do you notice people are going right into the lane to, to take turn. a left? Yeah. Everybody thinks <laughs> that they're a Formula One driver and you have to like it's, do this wide turn. It's like, no, you don't need to do that. I mean, you're going left. Just why are you coming over here making me drip? I, yeah, I think I think it's just um, I think a lot of it is poor driving. Yeah, a lot of it is poor driving, and then when but you that's for the, the people buy them license. Yeah, but do you think that the there should be like a further test or an but additional you know they test? Have it. They have a simulator test now. It was become like a taxi or a bus driver. No, like to, to to do anything. So on top of the written test, uh -huh. you also have to do a simulator test where you go yeah. in and you have to yeah. So they have three or four In simulators. Jamaica? Yes, three or four simulators. So yeah. a first time driver is going to have to go through that oh, simulation wow. before getting. So it's going to yeah, be but a three or four process. simulators for the whole of Jamaica. Who's getting yeah, but hold on, baby steps. We just okay, talked okay. about baby steps. You're going to see how it's going to go. Yeah. So you have the simulator, and if you pass that, you go onto the road, and right. if you pass that, you go onto the to the return. Yeah. And I think it's necessary because. There's so many, well not loopholes, but there's so many no, really. people who know, oh yeah mom, we can hook you up. Yeah. That but I think more needs to be done too for yeah. people who drive public passenger vehicles, like buses and taxis, oh. you know, it's just... Really you know what? All right. The other day I said to somebody that if, okay, I grew up in England, there is a bus service that you have bus stops, at the bus stop, you have a time that the bus is going to come. Right. right. And if you get there late, you're going to be like, oh, okay, Fred, 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 Fred's not stopping. But here, you stop anywhere for anyone. Yeah. Block up There's the road. Block up the road. There's no consideration. And I think that, sorry, come this way. Come around. <laughs> the, come, all right, not this. Go around there. Go around there. And come into Nana. And I think as long as, as there is no, let me just put on lipstick. What colour did you put on this? Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Show, show your lips, show your show lips. Show your lips, Ah. Ooh, <laughs> Pretty colour, right? Alright. Yeah. And I think there's so many more cars on the road because the sun is hot. Who wants to walk yeah, on the road? Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, people yeah, who yeah, shouldn't yeah. be driving and really yeah. can't even afford yeah. to be driving. Right. It's expensive to drive a car. I'm not gonna lie, after all that food I'm feeling the anxious. <laughs> no, that's not really. I, really I think if you I think if you made a better bus system. Yes. Yes. It, it would it That's would included really, the school children to get them yes, home safe. Definitely. And then but also once you have these drivers who are yeah. driving for money at the end of the, I don't know how you're gonna put a stop to it because and something several has to happen times too with the drive. with the arm. Um, the bus conductors as well. Yeah man. Well, well, their behavior is yeah. terrible. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I feel like they boost up the bad driving. Yeah, wrong, 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 yeah. wrong. Yeah. But it's it's yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway. But you know when they when they get off the bus and then they run up the road to mm. tell the driver whether the police the are there yeah. to uh -huh. come, come, come. It, it is just, you know what? Indiscipline. Mm -hmm. Our country runs a lot really. on indiscipline. And because of indiscipline, we have corruption. And everybody pays the price in the end. At the yeah. end of the day, mm -hmm. everybody, and then they want to run away. Instead of staying and growing this amazing country, people want to run away because there's no opportunity. Unless you're going to be, you know, yeah. feed into the corrupt yeah. system or, you know, th th there's, there's really, how can you afford a house? How can you afford, a, as a young person, a mm -hmm. car, a, the rentals, all these fabulous places going up. Who can afford them? Yeah. It's true. So I think you go away to say, you'll come back. My dad did that. He mm -hmm. went away to earn to be able to come back. So it's nothing new. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, now that you're living it, I'm grateful that you guys are here, mm -hmm. that my grandchildren are here, because this... I think that needs to wash. That definitely needs to wash. I'm just putting <laughs> yeah, on some makeup. so what's going on mm -hmm. here. This is so, so sweet. So with that being said, the gas prices or the cost of gas has gone up, yeah? Should we normalize walking 
riding a bicycle and how can we do that in a country where if you're on your bicycle and you, you can't you can't there are no stoplights you can't you, can't. Like, oh, grab your you bottom. can't you can't not just grab your bottom grab your, your bike and make you over your head no you can't come here me leave the lipstick come here right. right. i mean still yeah, i can walk to, to work how am i going to walk to work in the sun hot with my bags in my school bag so by the time i get there i look all hot and sweaty and unprofessional to stand in front of the car then you know what, in to thailand they used to, to in Thailand, they used to drive mopeds, which are just little mopeds, and they put a handbag on the. I love one. that. I, I would. I can you imagine Nana on uh, on a moped? I can't imagine that. I can. I can. I would. I would be Mommy, so you're cool. so like. It's like you have scoliosis. You're so in like a lean. No, I. You have a story. Oh, I can't tell stories. Nana, Nana, no, so that's not true. Scoliosis. Jesus and peace. That is not true. But um. Yeah, I don't understand why there's not more policemen at the road, like at stoplights, right? In, in Cuba, there's policemen all over the place. Like, every stoplight, there's a policeman. Yeah, Cuba was crazy with the police still, but I just think that we don't have the manpower. You know, mm. we can't be fighting crime. We can't be dealing with, you know, what's going on and then have, you know. But it's different you know types what? of police, It's though. different types of police. But that's not the point. The, the, this, where it, would the money come from? Mm -hmm. Because customs, you... <laughs> You're mm -hmm. still asking. Twist it down before you put the cup a, on. Okay, that's enough. A problem. professional, because let's face it, the policeman is a professional. Mm. You want him to be able to deal with the public in a particular way. So that's a lot of training. And uh, why aren't you showing everybody this child? She's off, so far. Oh. oh. Um, and that takes money. Mm. That takes money. Then you can't say, well, we'll just give him a little bit of money because then it will run like a patty shop, yeah. you know, where you, you feed into that, well, give me a, how, how this go, left or right. And the whole... Mm. That's what the policeman says to you? Left no, or right? I, it, it happened to me once and I came home, I didn't get it. So I just paid the bribe, but I and God, you paid the bribe, I, mommy. But, no, I didn't pay the. I paid the fine. Oh. And when I got home, I said, "Oh, I'm so angry because I paid taxes already. I don't want to give the government not one extra dime." Okay. Mm -hmm. So when he stopped me, and I said to him, "But see, the taxi man doing the same thing." He says, "And it's his lucky day." <laughs> I just thought to myself, <laughs> oh, "Okay, I did the wrong thing." So I paid, and then Gordon said to me. So what did he say? And I was telling him what the policeman said. He said, your booboo head is telling you that if you give him a money, it you won't have lucky it. day too. Yeah. I didn't get it. I, Mommy it was, is not going to pick up no, on those things. No, no, no. I did the said, wrong thing. Oh, so but I'm, also, it's also your lucky day. I don't <laughs> oh no, that's, that sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm walking with this one and she's... Remember the time the police Could officer stopped me outside of Levi's school and he asked me what I did? And what did I say? Um, it's not, what, what did I, oh gosh, she asked me, what do I do for a living? And I said, I work on commission. No, what is, Sorry, it sounded like I was, no, it sounded like I was saying I was a lady of the night. Remember when I called and I was like, mommy, the policeman thinks I'm out here as a, as a lady of the night. Yes, okay. I'm a contract worker. He said, what do you do? And I was like, I'm a contract worker. He's like, oh. That's what I said. And I was like, oh God, just please let me go. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's my son's school right here. I need to just go, please, sir. And he laugh at me. And something was, oh, I needed new tires or something like that. Mm. Yeah. They can be very nice. I, you know what? I've had a lot of dealings with the police lately. And I must say that, well, yeah. When you're on the right side of the law, there's nothing for you to worry about. No, but even on the wrong side, even when you're looking at it from the, because I'm saying a totally different mm -hmm point of view now and for a tough job I found nothing but professionalism and um, yeah hello Tuesday's so a tricky tricky yeah, process right. you go on go on to see right. while the baby sleeps the mama, mama has sleep mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so what's for dinner what's for oh, lunch spaghetti and meatballs that's not even two meats it is you get there's time. beef Chicken and pork in the meatballs. Mm. Three meat. Fart attack. A Brazilian singer hospitalized after holding in her gas around her boyfriend. She held in her farts for so long that it made her sick. Well, is that really true? I don't know. I kept seeing that story pop up all over my timeline, and I'm like, girl, you didn't want to at least like go to the bathroom, go down the hall, or something. Yes, darling. Yeah. Well, you know what? That feeds right into my thing. I tell the girls so that. If we didn't poop, 
we would explode because we just get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter and so what she had to go to the hospital and what did what, what I she think did that's at the hospital extreme but what she did for a major part at the hospital maybe they, I don't know, maybe maybe they, they bend her up before like what you do with remember, the baby yeah but remember that thing you put up stevie's butt the windy, yeah, the there windy you go butt. that's all she needed mm -hmm. but i think she was just holding them in so yeah, maybe you know in the what? ambulance she could have been like bah, 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 bah. yeah but that's clearly a new relationship because when you get comfortable with one another, you should really have been like, babe, I soon come up going down to the, right, to the CVS and, just and in the car, you just go on and pop it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Mm. Um, okay, so today Remy and I were going to wear matching outfits and I was like, oh my gosh, is that cute or is it tacky? Cute. cute. Yeah, like mommy I and dad's are matching yeah, outfits. Yeah, you remember when I made you those dresses to go to Miami? What dresses? The, when we went to visit grandma when you were 12 uh -huh. and I made the little um cheese and peace I made little matching outfits for the two of you Patrice and I yeah. that's siblings I find siblings it's, it's, siblings are cute to match for a umbrella I see you Winston and Sarah matching oh for, really yeah, for costumes and stuff yeah. that's true that's true yeah I think it's nice okay okay I think it's cute too I think it's yeah. cute too what about man and woman matching like partners matching I think matching? it's corny but I love it I think it's corny, don't know me. No, I do. You're wearing pink and he'll wear a pink tie or something. No, I really like it. I think it just... No, like more matching, matching. That's coordinating. Okay. That's coordinating. Okay. I'm talking like matching. I mean, like yes, Christmas my photos. Dress and like shirt. Just, yeah, or like you, the print of my dress is the print of your tie or, you know, when you do yeah, the Christmas photos. No, I, I, I think for, for occasions, like for photos, mm -hmm. yeah, like everybody wears white or everybody, that corny day that you had everybody wearing red except Nana, she bought this Christmas dress with Because Santa. you were Mrs. Claus. Well, I stood up like a saw because oh. you are the matriarch of the family, so you had to wear the, the Santa dress. The matriarch. You are the matriarch. Okay, so last week was... Very controversially, so Billboard Awards has dropped the reggae category. Okay. They say that reggae is not selling enough for them to even count it. Really? So what will happen is Sean and other reggae artists from Jamaica, they can never win a Billboard. Well, not never. Maybe they could in another category, but you'll wow. never be able to win a reggae Billboard Award again. But didn't Sean already win? Yes. Okay. He's, he's won a Billboard Award already, but I just find Isn't that... that very limiting though? That you're not allowed to to, or to to express a new genre of music and and well, it's not streams; it's counted by sales. Okay. And they're not having enough sales to even count them. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. So I believe that in Shensio's first week of her album, I believe she sold eight hundred and odd copies, which is not a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I find that in Jamaica, we stream or we you know watch on YouTube or a free service, we get the songs from there yeah, yeah. rather than support the artist and buy the album. And other genres are doing so well, like Afrobeats or um, some of these pop songs. And you can hear that they are dancehall influenced. Yes. Like dancehall influence. Oh, 100%. Dancehall is from reggae, yeah. like it's yeah. of the sister Even genre. I know this is music. happening. Yeah, yeah, I know this is, is happening it. where reggae is yeah. being completely overlooked and a whole category being deleted but yet it's so music, influential it's, in other yes, areas yes yes and yeah. I, it's so yeah. crazy it's so ridiculous yeah. I, and yeah. i think that babsy grange uh, you know um and some of our ministers we need to do something about preserving our culture our heritage and our musical it's it's, it's this it's, came up about food yesterday in one of the islands yeah. where um Oh, Timmy shouted it because he was telling me the story. One of, one of the islands that was selling Jamaican jerk seasoning. Yeah. Because guess it's what? It's not allowed to say Jamaican. It's not it, allowed to have the flag unless yeah, you're paying us some money. Yes, but it, it happens. Yeah. And so Jamaican is a, is a noun. You, can't, you can use it. Why can't I use it? it did, and he even said it had the flag on it. But it wasn't yeah. a Jamaican product. It was made in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, and we see that with our products. We mm -hmm. see that. But unless you're going to have someone who is dedicated to keeping an eye out on this, like the, the lawyers and stuff, how can you? <laughs> um, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Right. <laughs> um, Mommy's begging but for <laughs> It happens with our food. Mm -hmm. It happens with brand Jamaica mm -hmm. on a whole. Mm -hmm. It's cool to be Jamaican. 
It's and everybody, everybody, yes. everybody wants yeah. to be Jamaican yeah. or know yeah. a Jamaican yeah. or do but your TikToks at, in Jamaican twang or look whatever. At the, maybe. Look at the marijuana industry. Yeah. You know, I mean, we should have not been we advocating have, it, but we should have been, yeah. But we should have been at the price, front of that. Yes. We're still not there. Yeah. It's priced so ridiculously. You talked about um, taxes and stuff earlier. Yeah. You've taxed the little man right out of it, the same little man that, that was, was selling you the weed from 19, how long? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, it's just yeah. really, it's, really unfair. We need we, something to be able to. So to help Jamaicans and yes. to help our culture Again, and stay and build. Yeah. It's not just about the big man. It's not yeah, just about yeah, getting yeah. a good education here. Because we really do have a very excellent basic education, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then when we go away, you do exceptionally well. Yeah. If, yeah. if you want to, if you choose to. If, yeah, right. You know, but then you stay away. But where is building here? Where is the government's vision? for us to be able to stay here yeah. and to build. I would never consider going back to England, never. <laughs> but, and as I said, I'm so glad you guys are here, but that's mm. not the reality for a lot, lot of, of my people. friends, yeah. you yeah. know? And look how many of our Jamaicans have died abroad, yet getting the opportunity to expand abroad and to be Jamaican abroad and to represent from abroad where that wouldn't be allowed here. Or yeah, yeah. Not, not, not allowed, allowed, but, but it, you wouldn't be able to express it as... And you would not get the, really the, the financial mm -hmm. payback that you're getting either. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? And there has to be something that you can afford to live. Mm -hmm. And live, you don't have to live grandiosely, but you, you would to like live, to live be comfortably. comfortably and have running water in your house, have a flushing toilet. And that, you know, if your car needs to change, like mine did after, you know, a million years, that you can look and scratch your head and say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. It, it, instead, everything is just so not workable. And yeah, you, yeah, yeah. look at, you know, look how long people work and still just struggle from paycheck to paycheck. It's, it's. Yeah. And yet the salaries need to go up, and yet how? Right, right, right. You know. And I think that so. Police and nurses. The, the they're being stolen. Notes. Police, nurses, and teachers. Every yes. single year. The, the, and the brain drain from other... Because there's not the opportunity here to earn better. Yeah. Look at nurses earn triple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're Overseas, valued. Yes, and they're valued. Yeah. 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 And just Whereas, with the Jamaican hospitality and personalities, I find the Jamaican nurses overseas are so loving. Yes. So much more loving yeah. and so yeah, much yeah, more yeah. warm and yeah. friendly. And look at what happened when we yeah. took you over Christmas. Yes, yes, and, yes. you know, the lady came in right away. She was so warm and friendly. Turn up. Jamaican. Yeah, Jamaican. Mm, yeah man. Hey, you're back. <laughs> Not for long. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This was our special edition of Tuesdays with Tricky over here on YouTube. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you comment down below what were some of the topics that were really engaging to you. What did you like that we spoke about? Trace is really taking Sunday very, very serious. <laughs> She's all knocked out. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next week, Tuesday, when we are back in the closet. Don't worry for another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky. Bye, everybody. Bye.